far, no reaction from either fighter from the big shots that they've taken in this first round, which is impressive because the fighters are still warming up. Nice left hook there from... He's hurt right now, Bernardo. The bell was his greatest ally. Everything, in a way, was winning that round, but nothing crazy had happened until it did. A quick right hand to the temple. Now Oya Inoue. Inoue, you have to pick your poison. Now it's a left hook. That rattles no need to go there. Fire with fire, and that's just the way it is. For better or Impressive knockout victory for the monster. Wow. Now Oya Inoue, a statement victory in his home country of Japan. And wow! He is now the WBC, WBA, and IBF unified bantamweight champion of the world, Naoya Monster. Great, it was impressive how we did it. Yes, it is. He started landing big shots very, very early, even though he wasn't throwing the shots hard. That's the kind of explosiveness that he has. And Nito landed a few shots as well. And Inoue said, I, I got caught with the left hook, and that's what woke me up. But Inoue's power proved to be too much. And Nito was reacting every time Inoue landed clean, and there was nothing he could do about it. And Nito is a guy who's not going to run or hold or try to get out of the way. He's going to fight fire with fire, and that is a bad idea when you're facing the monster in a way because this is what is going to happen. And unfortunately, it happened to a great, great champion tonight. Um, I think he can continue to fight on. Bernardo, I'm not sure that he should, but I'm going to support my friend and I'm going to support this great champion no matter what he does. As far as Inoue and what he has next, he is a problem for anybody in the world, in his weight class, below his weight class, or one, one weight class above where he is at 122 pounds. He is a problem. He has not reached his full potential. He has not reached his full ceiling. He's still getting